Bit of breaking news. It concerns this year's World Cup in Qatar. In the last few minutes, FIFA have confirmed that they are going to be using new semi-automated offside technology yeah. in the tournament. Amazing. This means specialist cameras will track each player using data to spot potential offsides automatically, providing support to officials with the aim of quicker and more accurate decisions. Yeah, this technology actually was used at the Club World Cup and Arab Cup and follows the first World Cup to use VAR four years ago. Uh, here's FIFA's video to explain all about the new technology. A sensor in the centre of the ball sends inertial data 500 times per second, allowing a more precise detection of the kick point compared to conventional broadcasts and optical tracking, which are limited to 50 frames per second. In addition, 12 dedicated tracking cameras mounted underneath the roof of each stadium track the ball and 29 points on the body of each individual player 50 times per second, calculating their exact position on the pitch. The 29 points include all limbs and extremities that are relevant for offside calls, allowing the team in the video operation room to know the exact position of a player at any given moment. All player and ball data is processed in real time by artificial intelligence, which triggers alerts in the video operation room when an offside position is detected. The system constantly tracks and alerts once the ball is received by a player who was in an offside position when the ball was played. The video match officials validate the proposed decision by manually checking the automatically selected kick point and the automatically created offside line. The offside decision is then communicated to the referee via audio headset. For improved communication to the fans after the offside decision has been confirmed by the referee, a replay animation is created and shown in the stadium and on TV. Well, let's recap the key points from the video then. There will be 12 cameras in each stadium tracking 29 data points on each player, including each limb and their extremities as well. Added to that, there's a sensor in the ball, as we saw, used at the tournament, sending data 500 times a second, making it incredibly precise when the ball is kicked. And if the ball is received by an attacker in an offside position, the technology then sends an automated offside alert to the video officials, who then review the footage manually. Now, the process, which is expected to be quicker than the current VA our setup is then confirmed by the referee and a 3D animation created by the technology will be shown on screens in the ground and on TV broadcasts. Although the implementation of uh, VAR has been very successful, we are aware that uh, there are some aspects that need to be improved and among them certainly uh, offside. It takes too long uh, to make uh, a final decision on uh, uh, offside incidents, particularly when the incidents are very uh, difficult to be assessed. Uh, we decided to develop uh, new technologies to try uh, to um, limit the time needed and also uh, to be more uh, accurate. Our objective is uh, to, uh, to prepare the referee as best as possible uh, to avoid uh, to use the technology but the technology is there to, to avoid that uh, a mistake uh, is committed. Uh, even the best referee can commit a mistake, he's a human being, we know it. In average, on a global level, it takes 70 seconds until the decision for an offside incident is made. So that means 70 seconds that the players have to wait on the pitch, the referee have to wait on the pitch, but also the fans we, the have, audience. To, have to wait. So therefore we said, okay, this is something we want to improve. And so we, our main objective, our main goal was to make this process faster as well as more accurate or as accurate as possible. FIFA President Gianni Infantino said semi-automated offside technology is an evolution of the VAR systems that have been implemented across the world. This technology is the culmination of three years of dedicated research and testing to provide the very best for the team's players and fans who will be heading to Qatar later this year. Well, as we said, the technology, which last year was tested at Manchester City's Etihad Stadium, has been used at the Club World Cup and Arab Cup. Teams who have qualified for the tournament will meet with FIFA next week for clarity on the new system. Let's uh, speak to former Premier League referee Dermot Gallagher. D Dermot, very good morning to you. I mean, what's your reaction to this news, first of all? I think it's very exciting. I think when you see a change and a major change like this, 
It brings a new dawn to football. It brings uh, a new way of playing. It's going to bring accuracy. And I think as well as that, it's going to speed everything up, which is what everybody wanted. We saw situations in uh, Champions League and the Premier League last season where very, very tough offsides took time because of the complexity of them. This will eliminate most of that, which has got to be a good thing. How much help will referees get then, do you think, from this new technology, Dermot? I think um, they'll embrace it, Pete, honestly. Um, you know, it's, it's so accurate. You know, the problem with the VAR that, that they have is the start point. The start point is when is the ball kicked? And sometimes you've got to check so far back when the ball's kicked. Uh, the ball travels a long distance. You've got, then got to find out where the attacker is in relation to the defender. And it takes time. We've seen that. This constantly tracks the player. It constantly tracks the ball. And it knows instantly at what point the ball was played where the defender was in relation to the attacker. And from the 30, 35 seconds on average, which it takes in the Premier League to decide the VAR, whether it's offside or not, that's down to one second. I think on the back of that, the fact that it's going to be relayed very, very quickly to the screens to show everybody in the stadium, which eliminates all this doubt that people have in their minds. It goes to the broadcasters. I think it's a major step forward, Pete. Yeah, the technology is mind blowing, Dermot, isn't it? We, we looked at the, the video that FIFA that FIFA put out. I mean, the sensor in the ball is the thing that really strikes me because we've seen the lines on the pitch. We we can kind of see, it, but but a sensor in the ball is is kind of new level, isn't it? How reliable is it though? Well, it, it it's got to be foolproof, hasn't it? You're going to showcase this at the biggest tournament in the world. You know, the biggest stage you can see, the World Cup. So they must be very very sure it's going to happen. It's been tested in the Arab Cup. It was tested in the club championships. So I can't see there's anything wrong with it. They wouldn't take that chance. You know, it's a chance that you can't take. So they're very, very happy with it. I think what we've got to do now, we've got to, as I say, embrace it is probably the right word. You know, people had doubts about goal line technology. They had doubts about VAR. But now you see people saying, we want it further down. We want it cascaded down. So already people want it more and more. I think the fact that this has moved on another step has got to be a good thing for football. Uh, and yet FIFA have said that offside calls usually take around 70 seconds, Dermot. Of course, we've seen in the Premier League last season some take a lot longer than that. But uh, is this going to make it all quicker? I mean, is that, is that the ultimate goal, to sort of make these decisions as quick as possible? Oh, definitely, Pete. You know, as I said, some of them are very, very complex, you know. When a ball travels a long way, that makes it much tougher for the VAR because... They have to find a start point. Where did the ball get kicked from? And it's the relationship between the defender and the attacker. And it isn't always as easy as people going, oh, yeah, he's offside, I see it there. Because the ball moves so fast, the players move so fast, forwards arc their runs, they shape their bodies differently to defenders. We know that they lean forward. There's a lot of complex decisions to be made within one decision. And I think this will take it all out, as you see the video, which will put me out of business if that lady gets a job like that regular. Um, it tracks all the bones and parts of the body that can score a goal. Um, so I think when I've seen that video and I've researched it and looked into it, it looks absolutely fantastic. There's going to be a human element, though, Dermot, hasn't there? Because football is you know, decisions are, are made in terms of who's interfering with play and, and, and things like that. So the, the assistant referees are still going to have to make judgments. The technology is there to help them. People will be worried, I guess, that eventually refs and assistant refs won't be needed and we'll just have robots running the game. It's not there to replace, it's there to supplement. And that's what I like to make very, very clear. You know, the assistants still have to make their judgment. They still have to decide, is there an offside offence? They will let it run if it's tight. We saw that in the Premier League. But the assistants are so good that when a player is offside and they're convinced it's offside, they will flag. And I think the one thing about VAR that we saw with assistants, it highlighted how accurate they are how tough a decision it is. I don't think anybody, until we saw VAR deciding in the Premier League on offside decisions, had any idea of the complexity that these guys operate on match after match after match. Um, we heard Kalina there uh, as well saying that uh, there's a no tolerance levels. If you're offside, you're offside. So is this going to mean that those razor-thin marginal ones that have been so contentious are sort of going to be gone now, do you think? Well, offside is offside, Pete. It's, it's offside is offside in the Premier League still because if the lines show that the player's offside. The thing is, 
once you start having a tolerance level, it's a bit like when I play Rob Wooten at golf, you know, his ball lands three inches from the cup and he says, you know, you're going to give me that. You know, the next ball lands six inches from the cup, he says, you're going to give me that. And he says, well, it's only three inches. Well, that's what happens. And I think tolerance level is all very well, but you have to have a start point. And with offside, it's not subjective, it's accurate. So it is, yes, he's offside. No, he's not offside. I think that's where it's got to be. Make him putt every single one of them, mate. <laughs> every <laughs> single one. He's never had an approach shot land three inches from the cup. <laughs> Dermot, great stuff. He, he had a putt 12 foot that he wanted to give me the other morning. <laughs> Does not surprise me. Uh, Dermot, great to see you, mate. Thanks so much for coming on.